Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Um, in today's video we're going to be looking out at how to make a um, harmonica uh, holder, a DIY harmonica holder that anyone can do at home <coughs> and can save you save you a bit of money. So, things we need. We need a wire hanger, a uh, shirt, a wire shirt hanger. Um, it needs to be metal, like the, the wire, because that's going to be the basis of what it is, is what's going to go around your neck and everything. Um, you're going to need a pair of pliers. You don't, well, actually, to be honest, these aren't essential, but they're going to help out very much um, in just a bending it. And you're also going to need some wire cutters um, to cut the wire. And also, f uh, lastly, you are going to need a hair band or a rubber band or anything like that. It will work. And um, so, yeah, let's just get straight into it. So, first thing you want to do is um, un. Um, you see, maybe not everyone's is like this, but mine is, is twisted around each other. So I need to get rid of that twist in it and um, to to maximize the amount of wire we're going to be able to do there. So there, it's pretty easy. Just came undone. So <coughs> then if you want to, we want to straighten out these two, well, at least make them right angles. You don't need to straighten them out completely. And so, so it's looking like this, okay? Then this length, this is what's going to go around your neck. So, you know, you can just f uh, fit it perfectly to your own. Don't make it too tight, but you know, you need to make it a little tight so the so the harmonica will stay there um, solid. So, you know, that's, that's a general shape, general sort of U shape. I mean, as what you would expect, like there's not really much to it. These, um, the right angles, which we just bent a second ago, we can stretch out completely. Um, there are different ways to do this, uh, which I'll get to in a second, but this is generally, like, I would say, the easiest way. So yeah, that fits fine around my neck. It comes around here, and then this is where the forming of it really needs to, this, uh, like, it really needs to take place. So, if you have it here, you obviously need to gauge how far away your um, your harmonica needs to be. So I, you know, it needs to be quite in line with quite close to your mouth. So I'm gonna just do it here, and this is where the the um, this is where the uh, pliers are going to come in handy because you want it to be a real sort of right angle. When you're bending it with your fingers, you, you sort of get a um, more. When you're bending it with the fingers, you get a, a more rounded not as um, clean bend and when you're doing that make sure that you have them symmetrical so I need this one when I bend it to be in line with the bend right here so I could do the bend right here so I'm just going to bend that up where it's going to be where my mouth is easy okay so look you know, if I, if I bend this out a little bit more, just so they're not right in my face, then I can probably trim this. You don't want to trim it to you like this is what some people they do it right early on, which is fine. But I wouldn't say trim it because maybe if you have a bigger harmonica, maybe you want it a little bit more away from your mouth, um, whatever. Um, you can you can test fit that now. So basically, what we're going to do, we're going to get a harmonica. These need to be a little bit more close together. So I can bend that. However, the point of the rubber band is so it goes over here and it and it brings it together. It brings these two bits together. I look kind of stupid right now. It looks like I've got like the, looks like I've got one of those old-fashioned braces on where it's like all around your mouth or whatever. But um, things you've got to do uh, for the demonstration. So um, yeah, what you're going to want to do is. So where your mouth is, so here, maybe a bit higher because it's going to be, because this is angled. I'm going to want to just bend it. It's difficult to do it when it's around your neck. Bend it, bend it flat, because right now this is at an angle. So if you put your harmonica on it, you're going to, um, it's going to be angled. But so just bend it at a right angle there. It's difficult to show it because it's kind of difficult to show. This is this is what's in front. This is behind. It really doesn't look like that on the camera. Um, then again, on the other side, 
again making sure that it's symmetrical or equal equidistance then so this is where your harmonica is going to sit it's going to sit on top of on top of here like this okay so what we need to do then is we're going to want the wrap to wrap the wire around here so at this point where my finger is just there I'm going to want to get my pliers and do another right angle yeah that's good and then another right angle this is a bit more difficult because it's so close to the previous bend um, but you know the, the good the easy thing about this is that it's just wire it can easily just be manipulated and however one so look you see now this one side of the harmonica now fits you know that, that that's just being held on just by that one side so we're going to do the same thing so it's stabilized and not so uh, slanted and then we're going to be almost done it's um, yeah then we're going to also actually no we're not almost, we're not done with the side because what we're going to do we want to just bring the uh, we just want to bend this side down so it's going to going down here that just so it means this maybe not everyone wants to do this some people it might you might feel that it's actually easier just to slide your harmonica in and out instead of having to sort of pull it apart which you will have to do um which you have to do with um doing it this way but but it, it's up to you i'm not going to do it just because it's going to be a bit quicker however what i can do at this point in time is cut the wire um so it's going to be a bit difficult because it's thick wire sorry i know i'm over driving the mic Ugh, my muscles aren't big enough for this Yeah, okay, whatever. I'll just do that later. But, you know, for the video, you get the idea. So, one thing that I saw someone do is they got clamps. They, they got up to this stage and they and they used clamps. Now, if anyone has clamps lying around in their house, then, you, you, know, you know, you can easily do that one. But I thought this is going to be a bit more accessible to the mass population, general population. Because otherwise, it's a bit... You know, you have to go out and buy something with this hopefully you don't you can do it right as you're watching this video and um, there so that is the basic structure of it I can slide in my harmonica on this side then again on that side and um, I'm gonna wh why you need the rubber band or hair ties because you can see they're not um, it's at an angle right this this side is a lot more in than this side and you just need to tighten it up with a with a hairband so that's just what i'm going to do and obviously you can um double double wrap the hairband so it's even tighter um and then there you go that's you know that's all it takes you know it takes it takes five minutes me explaining things maybe took a little longer, but there, 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 there there's the harmonica. So, <coughs> and it's going to be custom fit to your. This why this is good is because maybe some harmonica um, holders they're not really very good. Uh, they don't fit your neck very well. Maybe you have a long neck or something. I don't know. Like your neck's a bit thicker than average or something. I don't know. Whoopsie daisy. I'm talking while trying to do something and I look stupid. How oh, great. Um, and also maybe maybe they don't fit your harmonica. I don't know of any. I don't know if, if that ever being an issue, but if that has been an issue, this is a great fix to it. So, without getting these wire things in the way, like I can. I mean, it's a bit. I need to bring it a bit more closer. Like I said, it can be easily manipulated, so it's not a problem in any way, and it's going to take a bit of trial and error just to get it perfect to your to your face but but generally gen generally this is a very good option so i'm going to cut the video here i'm just going to get it perfect to my face because it's going to take a bit of tweaking and stuff like that which you don't it's going to be unnecessary for the video i'm going to cut these and i'll be back to you in a second and i can show you i can show you using it so 
So this is it. Um, it's pretty difficult to talk with it right in my mouth, but uh, but um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, this is it. So it's, as you can see, it's not perfect. It is slanted. This side's lower. I mean, in some ways, that's not actually a bad problem because it's the high notes, so I don't really go down there. Having the lower notes a bit more close to my mouth, um, it's actually it's actually a bit more easier. Um, this project definitely reminded me of uh, being an art, having to do like wire art, something I didn't enjoy at all. Um, <clears throat> and also something, never underestimate how having long hair, taking this on and off is very difficult. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed this, um, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, I'll give a little demo now. I hope you enjoyed that, I'll just uh, stop recording now. <clears throat> That's it. It's my first time using it. It's a lot more difficult than I first realized. You know, I thought singing and playing was hard, but actually playing the harmonica and playing guitar is actually very more difficult. Uh, let me turn the mic up a little bit more. So yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have, um, make sure to. Sorry about that. Make sure to like it, subscribe. I would appreciate everything. Comment, whatever. I might do a full cover of that song soon, so if you're interested in that, please let me know. Um, obviously, that's a very basic sort of um, harmonica sound. It's, it, it can't like flip down or anything like that to, for when you're talking. It should have been handy for me, but I suppose it is wire, so I guess you can just bend it. Um, so yeah, if you found this video useful, uh, let me know in the comments, like, subscribe, like I just said, a share it if um, you would like, if if you would like, and um, check out my other videos on um, other stuff that I've done. Um, I probably might do some more, incorporate my homework or more, maybe particularly my covers. I can't see I'm really going to be doing any sort of modifications or creative things like we've had with it, but I don't know. Anyway, um, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.